Ukraine's capital was also hit by Russian shelling overnight. It happened in the Podilsky district of the city, where part of a Russian missile hit a residential building. Emergency crews have been searching for anyone injured in the damaged building. Al Jazeera's Imran Khan is there. It was just after 8 a.m. local time when what's said to be a Russian missile uh, actually hit this neighborhood in the north of uh, Kiev. Let's take a look at the immense amount of damage. You can see that entire facade blown off. Now, when these apartment blocks were built in the 60s and 70s, they were built around a square. Uh, in that square over there uh, that we're just going to pan around so you can see, uh, there is a children's play area. There will be a school. There will be a kindergarten. Uh, now, we've been moved away from that area because there's a still unexploded ordinance that the police and rescue services are checking out. They're also going um, into all of the buildings uh, to look for anybody that might still be trapped inside. We are hearing that one person was killed, four people were injured, and a number have already been evacuated. Uh, this happened around breakfast time. We actually heard it uh, from our hotel. It was about 10 kilometers away from here. So if we heard it there, can you imagine the thunderous noise that that would have made residents uh, saying that they've actually that they were actually very scared now because this is happening so often anybody that's left in these apartment buildings isn't actually sleeping in any room that has a glass front they're actually sleeping in the lobby of their apartment and that's uh, what is saving them now this was unthinkable just a few weeks ago that attacks would be taking place in uh, Kiev itself but this is now an everyday occurrence a big refrain here from people is close the skies. It's an appeal to NATO for a no-fly zone. Uh, however, we've just been speaking to Vladimir Klitschenko, who is a former world heavyweight bo uh, boxing champion and the brother of the mayor. He's also one of the uh, symbols of uh, Kiev's resistance to the Russians. Uh, when I asked him about close the sky, this is what he had to say. We're going to close the sky by ourselves. We need military equipment. We need weapons, defensive weapons. We're going to take care of our country and ourselves. If you can't do it and close the sky, we're going to do it on our own. We need weapons. We need defensive weapons. We need it now. In an hour, it's going to be too late. We need it now. The frequency of these attacks has got Ukrainian residents very, very scared. Now, the talks are on, still ongoing, but the more this happens, the less confidence people in Ukraine, people in this city of Kyiv have that there may well be a quick or an easy solution to this conflict.